All right, Whew. starting to get warm now. I like that. Okay, so is it a good day or a bad day? Okay, exhibit A. Uh, got the grass cut 95%. Okay, but why is it only cut 95%? This is where I'm deciding whether it's a good day or a bad day so far. Okay, so I got the grass cut 95%. Okay, so that's not the best. Usually I cut it 100%. But I had to shut down the machine because it's overheated and I see coolant leaking out of the freaking machine. So that's not good. Uh, I think the oil's low. Can I make it? Oh, yeah. Ow, I've got a load of bricks on there. Now, that said, to offset that, I got a brush hog in the back. Ooh, that's heavy. That was heavy. I can feel the truck. Ooh. We're going to have to cut that soon. Got a brush hog in the back for free. Don't know if it works or not. Client's like, uh, I said, hey, I got a present for you. Here's some weeds. Where do you want me to put them? Uh, it's a nice little salad. He goes, uh, yeah, we're going to have to cut that this week for sure. For sure. And uh, he goes, ah, he goes, just put it down on the side. He goes, I got a present for you. He says, I uh, don't know if it works or not, but he says there's a, a brush hog with the harness and everything. He says, I'm never going to use it. You might as well take it. And I got a microwave for a scrap. So, oh, check out the doggy. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, little doggy. Oh, he's having fun. He's like, yeah, I got my head out the window. Ha <laughs> ha, check me out, human. All right. I had to pay the dog tax there, their dog there. I must have had to pet her like eight times. Yeah, so frig, I hope that machine, it's a John Deere. I don't, I think it must be about 15 years old-ish. I'm not sure exactly how old the, 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 tra the tractor is. Uh, but the, my mower deck kept cutting off on me and it wouldn't restart. And I'm like, what, what's this? Is weird. I've never had that happen before. And he said, Yeah, it started doing. It. Oh, check it out, Dodge Bro. Oh, he didn't wave to. It. He's not a Dodge Bro. He's out of the club. That's it. He's done. We talked about this. When you see another Dodge, you wave. You wave. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah. So it's like he said it did it to him. So I checked. It. I should have checked the oil and everything before I started. Uh, but I got off the machine. I, I popped the hood and I didn't see anything out of ordinary I thought it, I thought it blew a belt or something, but the belt was you know, it's on there and it was strong But it wouldn't engage the mower deck I'm Like what's going on, right? So then it engaged so I shut it down Then it engaged I noticed the temperature was a little bit higher, but not normal not not much higher than normal and then It got almost into the red so I was like, okay, I'm shutting it down so I shut it down, I got off it, opened up the hood, and then I saw the green. I'm like, oh no, the overflow was full, so that definitely means it was overheating. But was it overheating because it's low on oil, or is there a crack in the coolant line or something like that? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, Cause I, like, it didn't look like it was overflowing from the coolant overflow. So, yeah. And if that tractor goes down, they don't have a second riding mower there, so. Uh, that could really, really hurt my season. Because <laughs> if that thing goes into the shot, like it should have went into. The, I tried to talk them into putting it into in for service over the winter, and they didn't do it. And this is this is exactly why, right? We're only in halfway through July, and um, it's like uh, got to get that. You know, got to stay on top of that stuff, eh? But it could be bad oil too, so I don't know. But I really hate it when somebody's machine dies when, when I'm the guy using it predominantly. Oh, well, these small town traffic. I can't believe this. This is total madness. Oh. Okay. No, he didn't honk. <laughs> if that was a city, somebody would have been on the horn already. They'd be like, oh, get going. We, you know, the second they spot movement in a vehicle, it's like, go. Just go. Oh, that's a nice big ramp over there. There, he waved. He was out. Oh, there's Bob. Oh, yeah, she got her excavator. The girl I know, she has those built. It's neat. You can widen out the, uh, the tracks on those or narrow them out. Pretty cool. Let me make it. Let me make it. Don't, don't, don't. 
Don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me. Ha ha! I'm gonna make it. It's gonna be nice when this is all paved. There's another big bad dodge. Firefighter? Yeah. Oh, pretty rough paint on the top there. For some reason, right around here on the on the dodges, it always peels back. Like every every vehicle has a spot where it peels paint peels. On the Chevy Cavalier, it was the bottom of the doors. The paint would just fall off, literally. Yeah. So off to the other job. Is that the girl? Yeah. I'll have to leave at her again. Pretty. She didn't wave this time, but I guess she wasn't paying attention, so. Probably looking at my truck. Yeah. Yeah, so her and I, we're going to have about uh, eight babies. We're going to have, um, she's going to buy me five, six trucks. No, five. Got to keep it realistic. We're going to have a huge mansion. She's going to, like, earn me a whole bunch of money doing this road stuff. And, uh, yeah, so imagine when I get to know her name. Holy jeez. That is a good looking girl, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, once again, I might as well have my talk with my bad British accent because I'm on the wrong side of the road, which is really the right side of the road if you're going to, you know, get somebody in a... Well, okay, now how does this work? <laughs> Do I go head on into the, the car? I don't know. Oh, oh, take that. Easy, oh, easy, easy, easy. Yeah, so I hope that lawnmower isn't toast. So I told them not to drive it or whatever. So they've been probably using it a lot since they're off. Wow, look at that thing. That's like a, oh, check out this, like dual dunes. Now that is what you call a freaking uh, bush machine there. Ah, well, that is freaking gnarly. See the tracks on that sucker? Yeah. Minivan behind me is like, why is this guy accelerating so, so slow? I got about 800 pounds of bricks in the back. Okay, we're gonna take a pole. So in the last poll, you said I wasn't going to empty my truck when I said I was going to empty my truck that night when I got home, but I didn't. And you guys guessed, you guessed I wasn't going to do it, if you guys guessed correctly. Uh, now, am I going to empty the truck tonight when I get home? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You think I'm that lazy. You really think I'm that lazy. You might be correct. Might be correct. 22 degrees, not too bad today. It was actually it's too bad for the tractor because it's like I uh, got a good two hours in there, and um, and uh, yeah, it's like it's not too hot. Like you can sit on a long riding tractor all day today. Like, yeah, you'll be a little bit sweaty, but not like the sweat's not burning your eyes and stuff like that, you know. But I hope that brush hog works. If that brush hog works, man, that'd be cool. Even if I have to buy a new blade for it, I don't know what it is. It might, looks like a husky. I'm not too sure what it is. It could be a Johnson because it's more reddish. But even at that, if just the harness alone is, you know, you know, like that. That if you get those harnesses, like working with a harness, even on a light whipper snipper or something like that, it's like it makes it so effortless when you have them uh, set up right. But on the brush hog, you have to have a harness, or you wouldn't be able to hold. Like you wouldn't be able to hold the thing properly. Like it, it, it needs to bat. Like it's the engine sit, by, you know, behind you, right? But that thing, that thing looks like it's going to be a beast. Don't know if it works or not. You just said take it. Oh, trash and Jeff's please. Uh, so yeah, so I'm doing tomorrow's jobs today. So if I can get another two hours in, that'd be great. Might be an hour and a half, we'll see. Got paid today, I like that. Uh, so that just leaves two clients, which I'm probably gonna get paid by one of them tomorrow and the other one by the weekend. Then I'll be up to, I'll be up to speed with everybody's paying, but uh, I still gonna have no money because I have to give it all to Paul for the trailer. <laughs> and my rent and stuff. So I was like, I just can't win. Oh jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 
the way life goes, my friends. That's the way she goes. But I'm about two thirds done on the bricks. Uh, one of my longtime subscribers, he knows who he is, said, Reg, don't stack the bri bricks like that. Uh, those pavers like that, or you're asking for trouble. Yeah, they'll crack and everything. But like, once I get them all whole, I'm either going to sell them all, stack them all nice, count them all out, stack them all uh, nice out of the road. Or I'm going to lay them all down and put my uncle's truck on top of them and build like a little shelter around them so I can work on it in the winter. Uh, or I'm going to, if there's a, a really lot, lot, I'm going to put uh, in the garage. So either, either way, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, that I'm just throwing the bricks there loosely for now, but I'm not going to keep them like that because, yeah, they, they will break and chip and, you know, if they get frozen in the winter and then, you know, water in them, they just split in half, turn the dust on you. No, you're correct on that. See, I knew that. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Uh, I'm Edgy McKinney. I need uh, 60 bucks of gas this morning. Not quite half tank from any. Like this truck, I don't trust it on the E because I don't know exactly how far I get. But I've already done like 43 kilometers today, so... Technically, I have almost made all my gas money back 